Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Bible declares that God's desire is for you to prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. So I declare tonight healing rest upon you. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Tanya, I heard the Lord say, There's healing for your sorrow. There's healing for your pain. There's healing for your spirit. There's shelter from the rain. But right now, declare. Just say, Lord, send your healing for. right now to you Tanya everything every wound everything that has hurt you everything that has wounded you hallelujah emotionally I hear the Lord say I am healing I am healing I am healing and I am I am restoring hallelujah I'm restoring the confidence that was robbed from you hallelujah I'm restoring the joy that was stolen from you I the Lord God am putting it back to the to the place that I said I said I said so that the anointing of God can flow through you like never before in the name of Jesus because this is your set time of grace and favor 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 you don't have to look for anybody doing anything else for you because I hear the Lord say if I have allowed you to get to where you are right now guess what I'm not done working in your life I'm about to do more somebody shout more tonight I'm about to shout more I'm gonna do more in your life tonight glory to God Better is not coming for you. Better is already here. Better is already here. It's here for you. 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 Don't run from it. Don't run from it. Don't run from it. Don't run from it. You have changed. You have changed. You have changed, you have grown, and you have matured. Stop referring to yourself as the old man. Stop referring to yourself as the old nature. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord is sending his healing. And you've got to know that there is a ball in Gilead and he's healing your soul you ain't gonna snap like you've been snapping no more I hear the Lord say stop saying well that's just how I am no that's how you've been conditioned to be and I hear the Lord say I have removed the situations I have even changed and shifted the environment so that you're not in a stance that you have to always be in a stance to fight you don't have to always be in a stance hallelujah to be ready to defend because I the Lord God am fighting for you in this season of your life I am the Lord God and I fight for you for I am your mom hallelujah 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 glory to God Catherine I hear the Lord say from the beginning of this year up until now 
things have looked as if they haven't changed but I hear the Lord say if you can enlarge your expectancy by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow you will literally be looking in your possession at the key to which God has desired you to have at the key that God has desired you to possess because with this key I hear the Lord saying you're going to open a door that no man can shut because as you open the door God says walk through hallelujah and as you go through the threshold give him glory and give him honor and give him praise because in this season of your life it's all about his promises being fulfilled. Stay focused on what he said. Stay focused on who he is to you. And just begin to declare right now, right now, just begin to walk around your house, wherever you are, and begin to say, I'm free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. I'm no longer bound. a blessing and I know a lot of times people reserve this song or they like to sing it in funerals but if that's your belief tonight guess what that, yeah we're gonna have a funeral for your flesh tonight we're gonna kill yesterday we're gonna go ahead and kill February 17th it's about to be the 18th and it's time to rejoice in the newness of God I'm free praise the Lord I'm free referring to yourself as bound there's no more chains holding you oh, oh your soul your mind your will your emotions is resting and that's the blessing of the Lord for you tonight Catherine oh, oh. praise the Lord hallelujah like manner the thing and I think the Lord may have spoke this to last, last week to someone or I just I just keep hearing it in my ear how on the day of Pentecost not the day of Pentecost when Paul and Silas were locked in jail and they praised God they sang hymns to the Lord they worshiped him the Bible says that their worship in their praise calls for the earth to shake. Glory to God. There was a direct result of their praise. It was a direct result of their worship. It was a direct result of them ushering God's presence to where he was, where they were. And it caused for the earth to shake so much that the literal doors, the literal gates uh, 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 on the prison doors were shaking so much till they opened. The Bible goes on to say that after that took place, the guard saw all the doors open, lifted up his sword, and was about to kill himself. The apostle yelled out and he said stop we're all here although the prison doors were open Paul elected to stay bound to stay in a place because it was the right thing to do Tara it is no longer the right thing to do to stay bound just to keep other people happy concerning who God has called you to be the freedom that you're supposed to walk in in this season it is no longer alright to allow them 
to think that you're not who God says you are, it is no longer all right for you to allow them to walk all over you. And just as the Lord told you last week, every witchcraft spirit, every word curse spoken against you in the name of Jesus, that which is against you, he says, if you if you got to be all right with it because I'm going to deal with them in such a way, I'm literally going to cut off the hand of the enemy. I'm not playing this time. Touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed. That's why your prayer life has been so interrupted because as an intercessor, you're supposed to be in the face of God as much as possible, but you can't do that when you're surrounded. But I hear the Lord say, no, I've, I've, I've provided a way of escape. I've provided a way of escape. I have provided a way of escape. And if you thought I blessed you before, he said, no, no, I allowed all of that to take place just so you can set your expectation high concerning what I can do. Because I hear the Lord say, what you, what happened in your life before was because of somebody else doing something else that benefited you. But I hear the Lord say, what I'm about to do in your life in this season, I am going to be the only one that's going to be glorified because of it. And when it happens and when it takes place, don't allow the leeches to go. Don't be like Abram. Take it a lot with him. People who do not respect your God. People who do not respect your God. People who want to be inclusive and try to add all these ideologies and theologies and, 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 and false doctrines in with the gospel of Jesus. God says, cut them off right now. Because I, the Lord God, remind you that no flesh can glory in my presence. Every demonic distraction is tongue-tied right now. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know as a I don't know if it's an appointment or I see a I see a schedule. schedule I heard the Lord heard say, the say stop writing all the other stuff only on your schedule begin to write down and pin what you are expecting God to do on that date I promise you. The Bible says, write the vision and make it play. That he that runs it, that he that readeth can run. Right? People a lot of times take that and they make it just for churches and they make it just for pastors and say, Pastor, write the vision so the members can read it and they can run with the vision. No, you're supposed to have a personal vision for your life or whoever this is for. If you're getting tired of your life going around in a circle, always, always in a circle, write a vision of, write, write an end date for that circle, write an end date for that dysfunction, write a date that you're coming out of the dysfunction. Because God said, I could heal you in the midst of it, but you got to want it bad enough. You have to want it bad enough. Don't forget in Egypt, when Moses, by the grace of God, contended with Pharaoh for their release, none of them wanted to go. The Bible says Pharaoh had to kick them out. And there's someone on here tonight who has been in a place of bondage, who has been in a place of comfort in bondage long enough, and I'm about to make Pharaoh kick you out to save the Lord God. And so on your way to freedom, 
don't you look back don't you look back at master's house like it was a good thing to be under bondage for there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus stop condemning yourself in it stop condemning yourself in the pain stop condemning yourself with the frustration stop condemning yourself some things we go through in life because it's called life and because it's your fault but what is your fault is if you decide to stay there just because the doctor said high blood pressure don't mean you start walking around saying I got it declare healing and eat better declare healing and exercise a little declare healing no, he's smiling yeah because everybody know I'm allergic to exercise glory to God I already told y'all I think I told y'all that another week that I ain't trying to lose no more weight I said I'm gonna, if I'm going to be fat I'm going to be fat you know, because thank God for Pastor Marvin and Pastor Zong, you know, they so thin and they, you see the glory on them. But, you know, if they go outside right now, because we got, they say we got 40 miles per hour winds and 50 miles per hour winds, they, y'all need to stay in the house tonight. Y'all go get blown away. Can't no wind push me over. Besides, like, why he ain't gonna lose weight? You ain't never heard no fat person getting kidnapped. That's, that's just my personal belief. Now, I'm praying that the Lord, even though, you know, the Bible says no man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall appear. I'm praying that the Lord lets me know like a week in advance so I can start exercising because when the rapture take place, I don't want to hurt Jesus back when he come to snatch me up. And I only said that not just ingesting but if you don't learn to laugh in Jesus because right now I, I literally hear the Lord say that there are some, some, some of us tonight he's about to restore the genuine smile of his presence in a world that's so laced with laughing at the non-funny laughing at other people's pain laughing at other people's misery it's gotten to the point when on social media when I see one of those videos coming up of somebody doing something I just have to hurry up and swipe because I don't want to see nobody getting hurt ain't nothing funny and that's how the enemy desensitizes you to the reality of yes we are our brother's keeper your neighbor's pain should not be your entertainment. And Ariel, I believe that's how you say your name. Ariel, your pain has been someone's entertainment far too long. And I'm literally causing it to end tonight. No longer will your pain be laughed at. No longer will your pain be used as the brunt of jokes no longer shall your pain be used to keep you in bondage I the Lord God speak liberty from the voices of the past Ariel I don't know what you're doing right now but if you're driving keep one hand on the steering wheel and begin just to wave bye bye to the things that have tormented and haunted you because God said just as he did in Exodus 15 15 you will see it again no more forever you will see it again no more forever you will see it again no more don't hold back them tears because I hear the Lord say when you release the tears 
I'm going to fill you with joy. God, thank you for filling her with joy tonight. Thank you for filling her with your power tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for filling her. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. With fire, 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 the fire of the Holy Spirit be rekindled on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Robin. Don't let the fire die. As you prepare to take your ministry to the next level God's going to take it to the next dimension miracles signs and wonders miracles signs and wonders Miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. That's all you're going to see around you. God said the foundation is laid. Even if I have to do some separating, it's not for evil. Because you can only look out for other people but for so long before you start putting what God calls you to do in jeopardy. And so just so as, just as, as the old hymn says to surrender all, begin to surrender all. Surrender all to him.